afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. So the Bronx Bombers attempt to break out the brooms in this three-game series right after this. Nick Margavichus will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? One of the keys to look for with this guy this afternoon, he's had a really difficult time getting people out with runners in scoring position. Over 300 average against coming into this start. He's really struggled when there's been traffic on the bases, and this is Leading something he's going to have game. to clean up. Here's the second the baseman, base. DJ LeMahieu. He will lead this one LeMahieu. off today. First delivery to him on the way. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Hey, this is a big one here, Matty. You know what, d -Row? They're about to head on a nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage their last game of this series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's it. dinner taste better. Nine-game road trip coming up. A lot of packing involved. A lot of grinding on the road. They need to find a way to win this last one at home so the bases are empty with one man gone and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel Andujar first pitch of the at bat on its way Aye. strike called tough to do much with that one a very comfortable afternoon for baseball 61 degrees our game time temperature into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 Weak grounder down the line at third. And there are two away now. Batting third. The designated hitter, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On a line, that's a base hit. Giancarlo Stanton will get a chance in the inning following the base hit. So they get a two-out base runner here that following is, the base hit. There. That right leads here. us to check out the league Giancarlo. leaders in team batting average. And we see that these guys are currently second in the AL in that department. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch oh. at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Has a look, now the pitch. Mine to the right side. Henniger is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for the Yankees. It's the Yankees nothing. Mariners coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Masahiro Tanaka will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. 
Striding in, D. Four Gordon. He'll leave things off here the in the bottom baseman. half of the first. D. Gordon. The pitch. No. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right that to kind of get some guys off their feet hitter. if the manager wants. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This man. team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Malik Smith oh, comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Now here's the pitch. That ball is. 2 now. 2 and 0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Down low oh. and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two-hole hitter off the bags is always important. Here's the 3-0. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter. Working a walk with just one out. I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Here comes the first pitch. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. Smith, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And again a throw, a dive, but he's back. Ready with the 0-1. Nope, ball one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Throw over to the bag. Runner back standing. Nope. Down low. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Here's a look over to first and he'll get dirty but he's back in safely. Runner at first here one man out. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. The 3-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Batting four. Dan Vogelbach is next. In Number past 20. meetings with Tanaka, he's gone two for eight. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now the 1-0. Well. 
that can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count, and if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. A runner on first with two away. Look out. All over the place now. 3-0. and oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. A rare 3-0 curveball drops in, 3-1. and one. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. The 3-1 finds the zone to fill the count, 3-2. and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Gonzalez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he lays off there, 1 0. Weak grounder back to the mound. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. An inning in the books, no score on the show. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Torres. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so. It's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That is good. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez Gary. comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Sanchez is certainly known in part for power at the plate, in particular in these types of matchups against a left-hander on the mound. Yeah, because he knows that lefty can't get inside on him. What a comforting feeling you know it is as a hitter when that pitcher has nowhere to go on the inner half of the plate. The one two. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. In there, a base hit. That is seven. The center fielder, Mike Talkman. Now in the box, Mike Talkman. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Off the plate, ball one. Now the 1 0. Fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a chopper to first might only get one. To second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. 
So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it. But that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no out. So that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. Striding into the box, Luke Voigt. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's set and the pitch. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Two out with the man at first. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Tyler Wade would be next. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thompson Williams will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Yanks leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The bouncer to the left side. And a rather easy first out. Batting seven, the center fielder. Dom Thompson Williams. Stepping up now, Dom Thompson Williams. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Fouled away. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. On the mound, he's thinking. Grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost Batting everyone, it. the adjustment to hitting big league pitching oh, is a big yeah. one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Into the box, Austin Nova. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Now the 1 0. That's outside. Whoa, that's down. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Tanaka gets the sign. Needs a strike here on 3-0. and oh. And oh. that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last that pitch enough. looked pretty darn good That's to me. Shortstop. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls Rumper. on 3-0, and oh, though. You have to earn that spot. Digging in, J.P. Crawford, and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. <laughs> he 
be set. Here it comes. One High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all on the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mariners leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Now the pitch. Pulled a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Yeah, that, I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's yeah. standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, D-Row, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have going, a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Pitch outside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for them. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Ah. And a strike to even the count. It's one and clear. one. No one out with a runner at second. Hit on the ground to third. There is Seeger, and that's out number one. Now batting, the third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. And that'll bring up Miguel and Duhar. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. The 0 1 on its way. Oh, that's just out. Third inning, no score to this point. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And that's the second out. Now batter, designated hitter, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball at inside. The set and the 1 0. Two balls. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. No score at this point, but a two out hit could get a runner in from third. 
This is line to left. And a base hit as the run will score from third and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. I know we sit up here and talk now about it a lot. Right Just grabbing the momentum, Dunk trying to tack on early runs yeah. as quick as possible. It allows the pitcher to go out there, relax, attack the strike zone. It keeps everybody involved. That two out RBI, I know it's early, but that just gives everyone a chance to just relax and compete. Giancarlo Stanton now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. The 1 0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two and oh count and the pitch nope. too high and it's three and oh. If I'm in the box right now I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Here it is, the 3 0 is taken, strike one. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. A run on two hits for the Yankees. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Yankees one and the Mariners nothing. Back now for the Mariners' third turn at bat, and unfortunately for them and their fans, this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season. They entered this game near the bottom of the league in both runs scored and batting average, which has led to a lot of criticism of just about everyone involved. One player told me, we don't deserve a lot of praise for the way we're swinging the bat this year, and that's been a real wake-up call. Most importantly, we expect way better of ourselves, so it's on us as the hitters to work together and figure this out. Back to you guys. For the Mariners, Thank you, Heidi. The second baseman, D. Gordon. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. D. Gordon oh. is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 0. Oh. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Gordon bats left but throws right and stands at 5'11". He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The batter, so double, one gone now zero. as you get a look there at where the Yankees hitter. stand currently in the American League East. Man. Malik Smith the next to hit. First delivery to him on the way. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Tuckman is there, two gone. Now back. Well, it's still early, right but it's also worth noting Hit. that he'd be in line for the win Hedeker. if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see there, that number has him tied for second in the AL in that category. Into the box, Mitch Hanniger. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Tanaka's ready. First pitch on the way. Ball. A ball and no strikes. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, 
When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Looked like a breaking ball there, but it missed badly, 2-0. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here's the pitch. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, Number but at least 20. they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He drew a walk his first time up. From the belt, the pitch. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mariners. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I know this pitcher's trying to keep his pitch count down, but that's ridiculous right there. No left field. Pitch right down the middle. He's lucky he's getting this ball back. Ballad. Here's cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. And this one's in the dirt. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. One and oh, here it is. This one's flared off to the right side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, there are big RBIs and big base hits, Dero, but none now more now. than with two outs. A big two-out knock right Kyle. there. Not only ties things Beaker. up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always wanted to pass the baton to the next guy behind you. Take the donut off your bat and trust in the teammate behind you. That is a huge knock and keeps the line moving. In the dirt here. No movement on base. It's ball one. The set and the 1 0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Ready with the 1 1. Two men are on with two men out. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Here's the two and two. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Bounce to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ems pick up a run on two hits. On now to the top of inning number four.
all tied at one and one. All set for the start of the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Torres. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Torres brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. On the season, Torres is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Is swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Solo shot to right center. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Yankees take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Now the plate, Gary Sanchez. And he hits it hard to the right side. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting the center fielder, Mike Talkman. Settling in now, Mike Talkman. One run in and one gone so far this inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded to first, reined in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him Three. up inside and Four. gets the soft grounder for the out. At the plate, Luke Voigt comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lined hard toward right center. Henniger is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Two to one New York. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He cited the four walks they've earned already as evidence that his guys are waiting for the right pitch and that they're willing to let the opposition work themselves into trouble. So far, that's paying off. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Digging in now for the Mariners, Dom Thompson Williams. Well, he was a strikeout Mariners, victim in his first try. The center fielder, Dom Thompson Williams. The pitch. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. And an unlucky start to the now fourth batting. that time Hector. as the leadoff man is set Austin. down. Nola. Digging in to try it again. Austin Nova. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Here's the pitch. Ground ball left side. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. The batter number three. Shortstop. J.P. Crawford. Digging in now, J.P. Crawford looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Tanaka sets his sights. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Ball and a strike. One and one. Ball, 
had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. One run two hits and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Two and two the count. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. Not where he wanted that fastball to be and it's three and two now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Well, that was a slider and a 3 2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Into the box now, D. Gordon. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 1-1 takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. two strikes. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The 1-2. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Hit on the ground out to short. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. And now he has some trouble with it in left. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new school. Double, double I think zero. I kind of stand right along that fence. The one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down yeah. in the count and drive base hits the other way. So here's Malik Smith. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball. One and oh. 0 for one for him here in this one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. And not a real good cut at that slider and he's behind one and two. A ball and two strikes. Line to the right side. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And now time will be called right here field. as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and Pettiger. settle this guy down a bit. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. And so watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Here's the 1 0. Two down, runners at first and second. in the air down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball a little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside and 
And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He sent the 3 2 grounded to the right. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And he will beat the tag at the plate as he scores to make it a 3 2 game. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Rory. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Daniel Vogelback. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Last time through was a base hit. The 0-1 offering. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit hard up the middle. Torres picks it up. Throw over to LeMahieu at second, and that'll do it. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. We played four full. It's the Mariners three and the Yankees two. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. They currently have more than one hit per inning, and looking at strikeouts, they only have two. So far, the recipe for success has been to make contact early and often. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Next for New York, Tyler Wade. Leading He'll off start the off the fifth in this one. Tyler Wade. Here's the first pitch to him. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting, second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. Striding in once again, D.J. LeMahieu. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Aye. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. One and two. The one and two pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Here's Miguel Andohar now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Aye. Fastball at 88 that time. A ball and a strike. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. 
the good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. Aaron Judge is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. From the stretch. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Pops this one up. And that's in there. Base hit. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. With that base hit right there, oh, Nero, that's, that's his third RBI the right of the game. Ball. More importantly, Duncan his team's now ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail off, and he's given his team single-handedly almost given his team a chance to win this one. At the plate now, Giancarlo nope, Stanton. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. No hits to this point. A ball and a strike. Yeah, one ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Count is 1-2 and two now. Swing and a drive and a ball sent out to deep left center field. This is into the bullpen. A home run. Long two run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Number 17 for him on the season, and it's now 6 to 3. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound and it changes in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Your Mr. Cortez please. Jr. will now come on in relief here and appear in game number, number 25 30. on the year yes, so sir. far. Cortez. Junior. To the plate now, the Torres. The shortstop. Labor. And that's Torres. a fair ball lined to the right side. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. The baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Four runs here in this half inning. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through into left a base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Now batting the center fielder Mike Talkman.
Into the box, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Boy, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Seven runs, 11 hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Nothing fires me up more than watching a hitter take what a pitcher now gives him. Pitches away, pitcher. batter's able to Ooh. keep his hands inside, not Four. try and do too much, and just force feed a single. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt, as he'll try to hold oh, back man. on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here comes the 0-1. Look out, 1-1. First and second now, one man out. Swung on and missed, one and two now. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the heart of those 17 inches. The one, two. Ball two. Changeup laid off down and around the shins. Tyler Wade looks like he'll get a second shot here in the inning. He waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Now batting. The left fielder, Tyler Wade. Ready for another chance? Tyler Wade, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah! At the ball. One and one. Ball. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Strike two as the hanging slider was let go. Two men are on with two men out. Into center field, line drive base hit. He'll come home with it. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dero, because this outfield has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in a hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. Oh and one here it comes. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Oh, two is the count.
set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. The throw home. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the How baseball bad? season. The Bottom line is, this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You that knew he ball. was going to get hot eventually. Dan Altavia gets the call to pitch now, here, and he'll try to sort man. this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of Damn. innings for his guys. Altavilla. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar, hey. as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 0 1. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. But not only do they take the lead, they also open it up a bit as seven men come across to score. Last half of the fifth coming up, the Yankees lead it 9-3. to three. Digging in and looking for more, Carlos Gonzalez. He leads off this half go. inning in what, what they hope would be a rebuttal to all no those runs there. they just gave Carlo. up. Well, Matt, I think mentally Good they need Carlo. to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Ball. Lays off 1-0. Oh. Ball one, no strike. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Outside, 3-0 and now. There's Kyle Seeger in the on-deck circle. We'll see him next. Swing and a liner. Tuckman is there and he has it for the first out. Now batting, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. So coming to the plate, Kyle Seeger. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One out, nobody on. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And there's out number two. The batter. The center fielder, John Thompson Williams. Ready for another shot now, Dom Thompson Williams. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's fouled away. That's a ball. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Tanaka gets the sign. Here it comes. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The one two.
Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Still way back, it's nine to three. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aaron Judge. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number Aaron. six. Good. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 1 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. The 1 1. Here's a swing and a ground ball, and that's through for a hit. And I mean, obviously, this guy is built to play in the daytime. Four for Out four. Back. You right know he's over. seeing it good right now. Got These Carlo. are the days that you remember yeah. for a long time. At the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. Hey. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Oh, and one, here it comes. I got one ball, one strike. Outside, two and one. And he fouls this one off. Hit sharply on the ground. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now, Torres, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The 1 0. That's a ball. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2 0. Ball! That pitch is out. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. First and second here with nobody out. And he nope. misses with it, ball, ball four. four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Wow, all I know is now these guys don't need the any more help to get on Aaron. base. Believe it or not, that's the first walk they've gotten. They've done all their damage the hard way. See if they can add to it here. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here comes the 0-1. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Hit out towards second. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. One run scores. And he is in there. Now batting. The center fielder, Mike. Talking. 
At the plate, Mike Talkman. Ball one. And a ball 1 and 0. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The 1 0 home. Ball, that's just out. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2 0. 3 and 0 now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. What's now the saying? Uh, the when you find yourself in a hole, move. the first thing you should do is Four. stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So striding in, Luke Voigt. He flew out in his last at bat. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Too tight oh, with that it. one. Three and zero. Oh. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Aye. And they'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. The 3-1. Lined to the right side. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Now batting, left fielder, Tyler Wade. Matt McGill gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Matt McGill. In now, Tyler Wade, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. Two and one. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Now the two one pitch. Nope, that's down. Gotta think it's going to be a fastball here on three and one. He definitely doesn't want to walk the bases loaded. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now batting. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So stepping in, DJ LeMayhew. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Ball 
outside for a ball one and one and down in the Mariner bullpen it looks like a right hander is up to throw. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Ground ball sent back up the middle. One there on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Up next for the Yankees. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. From the stretch, high in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So this already sizable lead gets even larger as five more runs cross the plate. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Yankees are out in front, 14 to three. Your Luis Sessa please. is going to come on in now relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Luis Sessa. Bottom of the sixth inning now, standing in, Austin Nola. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Hard hit ball to short. Well, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Now batter. Nice effort that's by the shortstop stop right there. JP. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all Proper. he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. the stretch here's the pitch J.P. Crawford is in for the third oh, time now as he takes a called strike it's 0 and 1 nobody out runner on first this one's oh, outside God. quite a bit off the plate that time Crawford a California born ball player he's in his fourth season as a major league player And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Still even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Full count. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think to say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And here's the 3 2 from him. Skied into straightaway right. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. The batter, number nine. Second baseman, D. Gordon. 
Here's D. Gordon now. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire Aye. career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets Hold hot. On Runners on first with one down. Pulled toward right center field. Tuckman is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The batter, number double zero, designated hitter, Malik Smith. Next for Seattle, Malik Smith. He's working on a one for two game so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. That's inside. A runner on first with two away. Hey. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. The 1-1. One, one. We got two balls, one strike. That's ball three. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Now batting, right fielder, Mitch. Digging Henniger. in, Mitch Henniger. He's one for two in the ball game. From the stretch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. Shin high, that's taken for a ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. All even now, two and two. From the belt, the pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Mariners leave a couple and they remain well well behind. All set for the start of the inning in now is the Yankees D.H. Aaron Judge he reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. There's a strike at the knees 0 and 1. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. The wind up and the 0 1. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep now throwing it. it. Right Short there, stop. three fastballs in a row. He Four. gone. Four. 
Into the box, Torres. And that misses ball one. So far, two for three in this one. Hit to short. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. One for two on his line so far in the game. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder. Here's a fly ball well hit. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. And he obviously didn't let now last night's hit this out and get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the Good ball game. Color. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. So now to the plate, Carlos Gonzalez. Hey. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Stanton has a read on it. One out. Now batting third baseman Kyle Seeger. At the plate Kyle Seeger. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Oh, and one. One out and a runner on second base. One now a one. slider well off the plate. An easy take there. Two balls Next and a in. strike. Ball two. Here's the 2 1 home. Hit in the air out to left. Wade is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Up next for Seattle, the center fielder, John Thompson Williams. Now at the plate, Dom Thompson Williams. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set and the pitch. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one. There is a base open here so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. One left for Seattle, and as you can see, they are way behind.
Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. And to start out the inning, it looks really like they've decided to stick with the same the reliever out there, Gary. Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. And nope. it's one and one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. The 1-1 one, one is yeah. in there for strike number two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. Now that that's the ultimate the challenge fielder. pitch. And for me Mike. personally, watching Talk. hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. The wind up and the 0-1. Nope. Ball one. One and one. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball. One and two now. He three. takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing now in that, that location. The so a good there. job there of exploiting mm. that. That can be Four. real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in now, Aye. Luke Voigt. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1-for-4 day. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch one in the ball, dirt as he right. lays off. It's 1 and 1. The pitch. That's and this is two. low, ball 2. 2 and two 1. Now, a bit of a hanger but it's laid off and called a strike two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here action pitch right here 2 2 the last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3 2 bases are empty here with two men out turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Now another 2-2. Two, two. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. So striding forward now, Austin Nola. He'll get things started now in the, the bottom of inning number eight. Austin Nola. First pitch of the at bat. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep, and at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's one down now.
the batter, number three, shortstop, J.P. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. Crawford. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. They might even change their nickname for this team to the Road Warriors. A sweep is looking pretty good as they're leading this one again late in the ballgame. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. One out, nobody on. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. And here's the speedster, D. Gordon. Ball one to start the at-bat. A bouncer up the middle. That's through. He's got a base hit. His second in this one. Two for five now. Hey, another base hit right there, D. World. They've batter. already double, stranded double ten runners. Could this possibly be 11? And that's the name of the game right there, Danny. Hitting with runners in scoring position. You have to find a way to buckle your chin strap and stay in there and fight for a knock. At the plate now, Malik Smith. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's one for two in this one. Fouled away. High in the air into shallow left center. Here comes a left fielder. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Mariners leave one, and they remain well, well behind. Your Taylor Williams please. comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better results than the other Number arms that they've run out there in this one. Taylor Williams. New inning set to get underway. Leading Stepping up game. to the plate, Tyler the Wade. He's two for three Tyler. and looking for more here. Williams. First pitch of the at-bat. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And he lays Better off for ball one. one. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batter. The second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Standing in, DJ LeMahieu. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Aye. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's 1-1. One and one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting the third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. 
Stepping into the box, Miguel Andujar. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Two out, nobody on. Oh, got him to swing oh, out of his good. shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. One ball and two strikes to count. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But not to fear as they hold a commanding lead. Zach Britton, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 53, Zach Britton. Stepping in, Mitch Hanniger starting things for his side in the ninth the as they Mariners. face the improbable the right odds of trying to come Mitch. back in this one. Hanniger. Yeah, a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Britton is about as stingy as they come in terms of a bullpen arm. He's proven very difficult to hit, and it's a rarer thing still to see multiple hits against him. Yeah, Matty V, and you wonder why it's so hard to score off of this guy. He's nearly impossible to get three or four hits in an inning to score a run. He keeps his walks per nine innings is it really down, and you look at his hits per nine innings pitch, it's no wonder why this guy's one of the top relievers in the now game Matt, right now. Number 20. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. To the plate now, Daniel Vogelback. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Ready with the one and one. Ball no two. offer on that one. Two balls two and a strike. strike. Three oh, and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor. Three and one. A swing and a ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. No Three for four there. right there. He's Carlos. looking super solid at the plate. Gonzalez. At the plate, Carlos Gonzalez. At the ball. A ball of no strikes. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 1 0. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. 
count even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch, and it's fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. to short. Oh, a terrible bounce, and it goes right by him. Henniger rounds third and is digging for the plate. He pulls into second safely, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. The third you know, there's just so Kyle. few places in the strike zone where you can keep this guy from hitting the ball hard. That really is not that bad of a pitch. Just a little bit down and away, but he's all over it, and he cashes in a run on the double. So now to the plate, Kyle Seeger, as he'll take a look at ball one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and now. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. And there's three ball three. No His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so... Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Three and zero. Oh, here it is. And oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called a strike. Three and one now. Stealing that strike on three zero was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I gotta believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here couple of men in scoring position here with none down. And the count will be full. Hit softly down the line at first. But this will get foul so they'll do it again. Three and two. And this one misses for ball four. And now that'll load him up here with nobody out. That was a great battle right now there. Batting. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid oh. off some really tough pitches tough and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Tommy Kingley is summoned in the toughest now, situation a reliever can face. Number Bases loaded, nobody Tommy out. Kingley. Dom Thompson Williams will stand in against the new pitcher and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now the 0-1. I got one ball, one strike. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Two and one. Count. 
Two balls and two strikes now. Lifted in the air to center field. Tuckman is there. Let's see if they try it. And the throw comes in, and all three runners are forced to hold on with one away now. Now batting, catcher, Austin Nola. Coming to the plate now, Austin Nola. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here it comes. That's out. Bases are loaded with only one out. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score as well. Hey, I can't imagine that's a pitch he was looking for right there. But he did his best no to batter. keep his nose Number in three. there and drive Good that change up for a base hit. J.P. Crawford. Standing in now, J.P. Crawford, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. He's Torres at the bag. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three-game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. 14 to 6 is the way this one ends. The Yankees put up a 15-run attack on the scoreboard today. Masahiro Tanaka earned his ninth win of the year. Nick Margavichus permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.